everlasting Father, in Jesus' name. You're an awesome God. You're a mighty God. And we are gathered here because you have summoned this meeting. We pray that, Lord, your presence will make all the difference to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. We celebrate the Lord. We can have our seats to Naesa Keti and to Napo Enda Katika Neno. Uh, this afternoon, yes, yes, this afternoon, I, I want to, to bring, a, let me say, a sermonette or a teaching a quick ray about uh, exercising your faith. Bwana Sifiwe, hiyo diyo manda yangu, duhuri ya reo, nataka kunena about exercising your faith. Uh, exercising your faith, and I know we shall be blessed. Uh, our main text itatoka katika the book of Hebrews, a uh, Hebrew, yeah, Hebrews, yes. I was confirming there is an S. Hebrews uh, 11, and uh, tutaenda pale 24, na tusome mpaka 27, and tutabarikiwa. Again, tutasoma Acts 7, verse 22, uh, na buwana tatubariki. Amen. If you can, you can put it in New King James Version because of the Bible I have here. So we, we read the scripture. Then uh, I know the Lord will bless us. Hebrew 11, um, verse 24. And the Bible says, By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called son of a Laos daughter, choosing rather to suffer Afflictions, affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pressure, pressures of sin. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt for he looked for, uh, he looked to the Lewant. Verse number 27, by faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured uh, seeing him who is invisible. We go to the book of Acts. Uh, Stephen writes about uh, Moses in a very summarized way in the book of Acts 7. And allow me to just read one verse because of time. And the Lord is here. He will do us good. So Acts um, 7 verse 22. Scripture says and Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptian and was mighty in words and did. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are talking about uh, exercising. Eh, mshugaji sijui kama kiswahiri itakuja. Sasa exercising na itafuta kwa kiswahiri. Kufanyisha kazi imani yako. Praise the name of the Lord. Exercising your faith. Now, uh, let me just give a quick background. Uh, to get up or to, we just throw and move. And, and I want to, to, to just uh, explain kidogo, uh, maybe what I would say, the definition of faith. Uh, to and, then, and then I will go back to the book of Hebrew and uh, continue with that example. It's a, it's a good example of the servant of the Lord who walked by faith and uh, God used him uh, to fulfill his mandate in his time, in his generation. Bwana sifuwe sana. Kwa hivu niketaka nianze na definition. Niseme hivi, you know, the faith is really the title deed. Hallelujah. It's really the confirmation. Ukiagaria katika in Hebrew 11 verse 1, and the amplified version, hiyo maneno inaweka. Inasema, imani is the confirmation. It is the title deed. It is the evidence of what you hope for. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, if you own a rad, pare Mashakos County, na unaka hapa Nairobi, iri tujue wewe die unamiriki hiyo prot ama hiyo shaba, unahitaji nini wapedwa? Unahitaji title deed. Haijarishi pahari uko unaweza kuwa America but so long as you have a title deed you are the proof owner hallelujah of that land the same with the car 
you need a logo book. Hallelujah. Na vire vire, our faith is a title deed of what God has promised us. Bwana sifuwe sana. Nasema hivi, ikiwa bwana ametoahidi an extra plot. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu ya imani yetu kwa bwana. We have an evidence that is ours. Hallelujah. Nasema hivi. What I'm trying to say is, if the Lord has promised, I'm able to preach in English very, very fast, huh? so I'm being slowed down by trying to interpret. By the way, that is true. I can move very, very fast. I'm a pastor uni, I'm a near direct to evil. Sour. So I will use English. Praise the name of the Lord. What I'm trying to say is, faith is the evidence. Hallelujah. Now, uh, my point number two, as I go back to the book of Hebrew, I want to also establish and say that uh, we join the kingdom of God through faith. Bona sifue. Katika, you know, katika where we started our Christianity, it is in a place of faith. Give us Hebrew, uh, no, 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 give us um, Ephesians 2.8. The Bible says salvation is by grace through faith. Bona sifue. Wakati nilikuwa nikikuja hapa, nilipitia hii jia. Hii jia inaituwa jia? Hii kwa hapa? Kikuwa the? Kikuwa the? Ama niseme tu, nilitoka Thika Road. I used Eastern Bypass to come here. Praise the name of the Lord. In the same way, you and me, if you are a child of God, faith, it is the mean to which you join the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Paul writes in the book of Galatians 6.10 and he says that we are of household of faith. Buona sifuwe. He kanisa tuko is a household ni nyuba ya imani. Buona sifuwe sana. Turi, you know, turikuja hapa na magali. Uka drive plado, uka drive, uka igia kwa matatu. Buona sifuwe. So faith is not fallen. Hallelujah. It's not a fallen being. No. You bought that matatu because you had faith that will bring you to the church. Praise the name of the Lord. I come to say, sometimes we exercise faith and we don't know. But it's good to be conscious about faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And our faith does not disappoint. I don't want to go much, uh, but, uh, too much deep because I want to go back to the book of Hebrew where the text is. I'm just trying to do there some background. So, Nimesema, faith is a title D, confirmation and evidence of that which you hoped for in the Lord is already yours. That is one. Point number two, Nikasema, we joined the kingdom of God. We joined the loyal family. We joined the family of God through faith. Hallelujah. And number three, we live by faith. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. In other words, your Christian life is a life of faith. Hallelujah. And that faith needs to start being exercised. Hallelujah. If you are writing notes, you can write this. This one I quoted somebody. Yes, you can write this. God goes with goers. Hallelujah. God goes with goers. God work with workers. But God does not sleep with the sleepers. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to summarize. And there's something I want to establish here this morning. God, he goes with goers. In the scripture we see, he says that they were in, he, in for example, in Matthew 16, wakatu warieda wakahubili, you know, they went and preached. And now Mungu waka confirm his word with science miracle word. What does they went? Hallelujah. So he goes with goers. Like now to get a katika hu mwaka madayenu. Eh, our focus. Outreach. Hallelujah. You are in the very heart of God. Hallelujah. Because God goes with goers. Eh, Jesus says in Isaac John 20. As Father have sent you, so I have sent you. Go ye to the whole world and make disciples. God goes with goers. And you have to exercise. In other words, ni kama action. Eh, hiyo faith uko nayo katika Yesu. Ni faith enough uifanyishe kazi uone mambo makubwa. Mimi na struggle kuwabia hiyo. Hiyo diyo nataka kusema. Bwana sifiwe. You need to exercise your faith. 
you know, love motivates, but faith activates. Hallelujah. Do you have a miracle this morning? If you wa- do you need a miracle this morning? If you want to tap into the heavenly economy, that economy of the kingdom of God does not respond to needs. Apana, sama madiko vizuri. The economy of the kingdom of God respond to when we call God by faith. Bwana sifiwe sana. Sintumeabiwa vizuri. Without faith it's impossible to praise God. Nimekuja kuwa koroga. Hallelujah. Nimekuja kuwa koroga. Iyo imani yenu ya kununua shaba. Ya kushika huo murima. Ya kuenda in the next level in your Christian faith. Ifanyishe kazi. Na buwana atakupa ushidi. Buwana sifiwe. God goes with goers. God work with Workers. Paul writes, uh, Paul writes and says that we are co-worker with Christ. So if you want God to be with you, go. And of course you are going to preach the gospel. Go by faith. Bwana sifiwe. Unajua mimi nilipo kwa university. I was very good in going uh, for evangelism. Huh? And I noticed, somebody, I noticed something. Wakati tuko katika muhadhara you know tunaita watu wapokee kila miujiza you know tunaita watu viwete watebe eh na you are just, we are just small boys the university tukaretewa viwete kadhaa bwana sivyo sana <laughs> tukiwa pale katika mokoro yenu wa nyagadhanga tukaretewa viwete kadhaa praise the name of the lord tuko tukiita watu kwa imani because this is to tulishukua scripture tukaona that uh, you know he will be with us his power will be with us so tukaitiwa so wakati walikuja mimi nilikuwa nahubiri uh, kwa za hiyo imani yangu sio kama ilikuwa activated ama kulifanyika nini something happened nikasema the greatest miracle is actually not for you to walk the greatest miracle is to receive jesus as your lord and savior nikabadilisha kidomo nikaanza kuabia ukipokea ule mujiza mkubwa ni wa kumjua yesu do you know what a lot of people got saved atukwaabia kaeni hapo sasa sasa i'm telling you god goes with goers he used to have you wait kuokoa watu wengi watu wakaokoka sasa tukakuja kwa viwete sasa our faith to be tested nikapea mshugaji <laughs> nikaondokea mike nikapea mshugaji sahi ni mshugaji anaitwa mshugaji jola akaobea 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 akafika pahali akawaambia hamuna imani rudini <laughs> praise the name of the lord <laughs> but the point is the point is faith <laughs> was activated bonus if you sana ikaokoa at least it is saved hallelujah we have a saving faith in the name of the lord hallelujah so i come to say to you this morning let your faith arise may your faith arise by the way the faith you need you know recently where where we go to church gladys can tell you uh, our church was to be demolished huh? na i'm part of the senior leadership in uh, in uh, in our church so we go to the meeting we would even plan to vacate because tulikuanga na a company ya wazee wale wa kikuyu wale wa dani dani walikuwa kituambia either night a million aba mumomboe kanisa tukapewa mabarua mingi paka pahari ofasi akasema na ma even fatigued duncan with letters eh he, he, he said he now immune kwa sababu mabarua ilikuwa inakuja ya tutoke pale. Bwana sifiwe. Tunasukumwa kabisa mpaka wakakuja na welding e, wafuge gate. Lakini wakati tumepaga na tukaenda tuka identify even in another lad, tuka identify another lad, akakuja akasema, "Lakini Duncan, hao ni wanadamu. Wana sifiwe." And me through that, my faith changed completely. Hawa ni wanadamu. Praise the Lord. Tunaweza ongea na wao kidogo. Unajua tunaenda kwa council tunalisolve lakini akitoka nje kwa mulago ananiita Dani kan kuja hawa ni wanadamu tunaweza ongea na wao blessed be the name of the lord today that lad we are processing it to the name of the reference church eastern bypass praise the lord haikuwa rahisi nimekuja kusema Musa akiwa katika ikuru ya falao bwana sifiwe 
He realized his identity. Hallelujah. He was a Hebrew. Bwana sifiwe. He was not an Egyptian. He, you know, Moses grew up in Paris for 40 years. He went to the Paris Ikuru ya Egypt. Si Ikuru ya Nairobi. Ikuru ya Cairo. Yes. Eh, hey, alikuwa pale Ikuru ya Cairo for 40 years. Akiwa katika Ikuru ya Cairo, alikuwa anaitwa son of Pharaoh's daughter. And you know what? He he had access to all the privilege, richness. Kwani wewe ukiwa mtoto wa Ruto, by the way, uh, historians say ni kama Pharaoh hakuwa na another 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 son. So Moses was in the lineage to inherit the throne in Egypt. Praise the Lord. Yes, but something happened. And it's our great example this morning. Scripture says, when Moses became of age, in fact, it is that by faith. In other words, we need to understand you become of age through faith. Hallelujah. Unataka kumashua uwe mukristo amekoma. Anajua raiti zake. Nimekuja kusema. Through faith, you become of age. He age si ya kuwa miaka ite. Ama kuwa miaka 100. Apana. He age ni to realize his greatness. It is to realize his position in God. It is to realize his calling. Hallelujah. I come to tell the church here in uh, uh, Destiny Restoration. Center, become of age. Hallelujah. People of age wake up early in the morning at 4 a.m. They say, Barakatanabashana. Yes, they take the villages. They take the surrounding for Jesus. People of age, uh, they are resistance to every opposition. Become of age. In other words, understand your position in God. Wana sifiwe, mimi nimesoma kwaba shetani. Si mutu wako na gufu, ama si roho, si mutu, si roho. Ako iko na gufu, wana sifiwe, kigeresa ni kigumu kidogo. Eh, si, si roho iko na gufu sana. Kazi yake ni kusema ma. Umesha hieda, ume, umesha hieda, hi hide and seek game. Hi hide and skip game ya, ya watoto. Wakati unaigia. All of a sudden, wanajifisha kwa mulago, wanasema, ma. Na wewe ikiwa huko, hujui wewe hiyo nyuba ni yako. Hujui huko ni kwenu, unahauka. Bwana sifiwe. Kwa hivu nimekuja kusema, tuwashe kuhahoro na shaitani. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh, hey, hakuna haja. Bwana sifiwe. Una, unajua, ata kukiwa kwa kwa seme, ma, utoroke. Sini ata shukua. Hey, kwa hivu ni lazima uzimame kwa imani umuabie Satan This is not your position in the name of Jesus I come against you Hallelujah You bring that opposition down Moses When he became of age He rejected the label You know Moses label Was he was a Son of daughters Of Pharaoh's daughter His label was Prince of Egypt. But when he became of age, he rejected that rebel and he went for his mission. His mission, according to God, he was a deliverer. Hallelujah. God had given him a calling to deliver the whole nation to the promised land. I come to say to you this morning, Reject those rebels. Rebels will remit you. Rebels will pull you down. Rebels disqualifies you. Hallelujah. But this morning, capture your vision. Capture your mandate. Activate it by faith. And the Lord will give you victory in the name of Jesus. Moses rejected the rebel. The rebel was clear. And by the way, when I talk about the label, I mean Moses Arikata to be a concussion Christian. Hallelujah. This is what I'm exactly saying. Mixing the world with God. He rejected that. And he went for a higher calling. 
he went for his mandate, his purpose in God. Praise the name of the Lord. According to the label, he was, to, you know, labels are given by men for your information, huh? but the calling, the purpose comes from above. Moses, he had a label. And that label, by the way, it was possible if you're in palace, let's, let's be practical. In fact, we led in Acts 2, uh, 7.22 that he was educated. By the way, he was uh, like a professor. Because if you are in palace, you have access to riches, access to education, everything, huh? you know? Yes, he had access, but he rejected all that to go for his calling in God. Hallelujah. So faith will help you to break from the world system. Hallelujah. You know, you may think of Moses. What about you and me? If the light of the book of Hebrew was lighting today, can he say, Duncan Wagana? Najua wakati natumia Duncan Wagana Jacinta, uh, my sister anakubuka ana, ana, ana um, um, uh, his brother. So, so I am trying to say, hallelujah, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. The point is, Moses rejected the rebel and he went for his mission. I come to say to you, if the book of Hebrew was being written today, can he light Duncan Wagana refuse to sleep in the morning to take Eastern Bypass for Jesus? Can it be written when he was, when senior pastor Kitivi was preaching, he didn't go to Facebook to start working on social media distractions. Hallelujah. Can it be written? You know, you are to have to Moses, Moses, Moses. But this is the gospel. It's a gospel filled, now refilled. Hallelujah. We know the Lord Jesus. He left the throne. He had full access. Hallelujah. He was God before he came and became man. Hallelujah. You know, Moses is an image of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And he came to accomplish his mission to make a way for me and you so that we may join the kingdom of God. To forgive our sin and to become our mediator. So I come to say to somebody today, please refuse the labor of destruction. Refuse the rebel of your foundations. Refuse the rebel of poverty. Hallelujah. Refuse the rebel that limit you can become nothing. Hallelujah. Let me give you a few examples in the Bible of people who had rebels and they refused the rebels because of time. Uh, number one was Moses. According to the standard of this world, he had a rebel, prince of Egypt son of Allah, but according to God, he was a deliverer. Point number two, Jabez. His labor was shout of pain. His mission was possessor of large territory. Hallelujah. We can see that in First uh, Chronicles 4.9. First Chronicles 4.9. We know the story of Jabez. I will not read. I will keep on moving. The Bible says that Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called him his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. In another version, it says pain. Next. You can read because it's there. And Jabez called the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enrich my coast or territory and thy, uh, that thy hand might be with me and thou would keep me from evil that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Praise the Lord. Notice, God did not grant him what he needed. Hallelujah. God granted him what he requested. What are you requesting this morning? You may come from a background where it's full of pain, full of solo. He, you know, you need, you need freedom, you need all that. Hallelujah. God will not respond to that. He will respond to that which you have requested. In other words, when you exercise your faith in Jesus, heaven 
respond. Hallelujah. You tap into the resource of heavenly economy. Bwana siwe sana. One day I needed hearing. Huh? Let me give you an example, quick example. Uh, one day we were expatriating in Kampala. And uh, our boy, uh, the one we came with, now he's six years, you know, uh, he was diagnosed with the pneumonia. And Kalaso uh, apare, fifa ikakata kuteremuka. Um, alafu, sasa, I was at home. My wife, she called me, you know. Uh, you know, it's as if the boy has passed. She had even handed over the boy. She's here, she can tell you. She had handed over the boy to, to the nurse. Na ya likuwa mefunga. Lakini mimi nikiwa pare. Nikafanya mahesabu. Nikasema, one, hii maiti nitaretaje Kenya. <laughs> Bwana siviwe. Eh, nitifanya, nivizuri kusema ukweri. Nitifanya hiyo, hiyo diri hiyo nikawoka kwanza. Sasa nianze kushukua dege. Tuanze kusafirisha mtoto abaye, I think he was less than, uh, is it one, one month or, or three months? He was at a three month. Pana, ile DNA iko dani yangu ya imani kainuka kitogo. Bwana siviwe. I went down on my knees. And I said in the name of Jesus. Nikaitisha uo mutoto. I rebuked death. Hallelujah. Nika mtagazia hata kufa. Then I handed over the baby to the nurse. And I allowed the mother to relax. Bwana siviwe sana. And sure enough, I testified today. The boy was here. I am not sure he was dead or he was alive. But what I know, the Lord touched him. Bwana siviwe. E muke wangu alikuwa mpeana. Na hata ye nas, akanza kumpatia consolation. Hallelujah. Lakini ile, you know, iyo, iyo imani kainuka. Tuka, tu, nikaoba, and then I handed over the boy to the nurse. After a few minutes, I think a day, the boy was kind of start picking up, picking up, you know. Nirikata. Lakini wewe, kwa ni unakubari tu shetani ya kukalie? Ishaba lasma mununue. Si hii tu. Mimi natagaza. Hii teritori yote ni yenu. Si hii tu. Ata pare. Nimeweka gali. Hapa. Mungu atawapatia katika china la yesu. Haita kuwa rahisi by the way. Haita kuwa rahisi. Vita rasma ufanye. Lasma uamue. Falao hata kukaria tena. He must let the people of God go. Have you ever imagined the book of Exodus? When Moses was sent to Falao, he kept on telling him, let my people go. Ata kimuabia hivo, Falao anakata. Ana keep on holding them. Bwana siviwe, soma Exodus vizuri. Ukiangaria, Musa adinena malamingi, akisema, let my people go. Lakini Falao was stubborn. Huo shetani abaye ni stubborn. Hiyo imani yako. Hallelujah. By the way, hakuna imani kidogo. Yesu wamefuza vizuri. The faith you have, hallelujah, to ride a bicycle is the same same faith you need to fry an aircraft. Hallelujah. Because even if faith is as little as that of mustard, seed, give it to Jesus. He will use it. The problem we have today is dormancy. We have a lot of dormant faith. Faith has if I kasi. Uh, Leverena kikuja hapa akasema Lete you are offering Tushikanishe hii mahani tuedere We unakatu Hiyo haitafanya kazi By the way A time does not allow me to show you But I can show you Jesus was only marveled In his ministry by two things Number one Give us uh, let, Let's read the scripture uh, uh, Mark 6.6 6. Give us Mark 6.6 6. Let's read I want to show you Mabayari mchagasa yesu Ni mawiri Kwanza Great faith And number two and believe. Those two things is what made Jesus to marvel. And the Bible says, Adi marveled because of the unbelief. This was in his hometown. <laughs> By the way, he could not do miracles. Scripture records he could not do miracles in his own village. The scripture says, Adi marveled because of their unbelief. And he went aloud the village teaching. In fact, he says he did not do many miracles. If I'm right, yes, he didn't do many miracles. So you know, you know, Mushagasa, Ukua Mukis to Huna Iman who exercised with the Aguna Mushagasaga, Buana yet, Buana wet to Yesu Christo, and a Shaga, Kaziako Nikuria to Kuogojoa, Kaziako Niko Comprin, and a Shagaga, by the way. See, we look at Seme, Kosababu Mimi Nimutoto of Falme, Katika Gina La Yesu. Now I rebuke that sickness and I receive my hearing in the name of Jesus. Don't walk with manifestation. This is the problem. 
wakristo wengi hawajasoma ati wakati unasema na unanena in happen when it manifest that's not your problem mbona sivue asikali askari polisi si ni yetu anapeanaga oda na inafanyika vire vire when you exercise your faith you receive an order you release an order in the spirit and it happens don't walk with manifestation walk by faith bona sifiwe sana so jesus marveled because of the unbelief let's look at uh, i think it's Luke 7 9 because of it, this is the great faith of uh, uh centurion uh scripture says let me be sure so that um is th is the one I was looking for the word marvel. I think it's in the, it's there, sour. Then we can read, thank you for, see, for helping me here. When Jesus had, I'm just reading by faith that it will be there. Sasa imetolewa. Ah, itakuja tu katika jina la Yesu. Tusome. When Jesus had these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say to you, I'm not found so great faith, not in Israel. Jesus marvels. He gets surprises. He, he is only surprised by two things. Hallelujah. One, unbelief. Second, faith or great faith. Tuwashe kumushagaza bwana. Wakati tunaogopa, eh, tunafugiwa nyuba, na huu exercise faith yako, wakati application inakakwa, inaitagwa dust, inaitagwa wapi. Unatuma application, Eh, officers pare wanakalia. Hallelujah. Washe ni kushagaza bwana. Inuka katika imani. Because it's already provided for. And you move the heavenly economy. Request for it. Hallelujah. You know, the, you know in the kingdom of God he responds when we make prayer by faith. Hallelujah. We are, we are doing well. Uh, uh, we are doing well. Let me try to summarize for you. Um, as, I, as I bring this to cross. I'm able to... Uh, to finish on time. Uh, point number three, I talked about Moses, I talked about Jabez. Point number three is Jephthah. According to the label, he was a Harod son. But according to the mission of God, he was the Lord, Lord's warrior. He was a warrior. Hallelujah. Paul, according to the label, he was persecutor of the churches. But according to the mission that God had given him, he was an apostle. He was a man who would walk with revelation and he write epistles in the New Testament than any other. Hallelujah. The rebel was persecutor. But the mission was the planter of churches. David, his rebel was man conceived in iniquity. Yeah. But his mission According to God, he was the man after God's own heart. Esther, he had a rebel, a no fund girl. But his mission was he was a queen or a nation influences. Friends, rebels limit us. Rebels disqualify us. We're going to now arise like Moses and we say, you know, Moses, huh? unajua kuna imani ile ya kukataa. Hiyo ndio ilinuka katika Musa. Imani zote zisa kusema yes, yes, yes. Kuna imani ya kukataa. Kuna mambo ili utebena level can tell you, ili utebena victory. Kuna mambo lazima ukatae. For example, unaweza kataa kuna mshawi atafanya kazi katika bahari na ka. Imani ya kukataa iko na ilikuwa na Musa. Musa alikataa foreign god in paris don't tell me that kure kure katika ikuru ya cairo hakukuwa na idol huko kulikuwa na idol kwa sababu tunaona when he come now to deliver we knew the witchcraft we see a lot of idolatry in the book of exodus lakini musa ali kataa si hiyo imani inuke jameni tukatae kuzuiriwa tukatae kufuatwa mambo ambaye ililimit wazazi wetu haita to limit katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Kanisa litakuwa. The church is moving and the gates of hell shall not 
Prevail. Let that faith arise. You know, the moment you exercise that faith, I tell you, victory is yours. It's already guaranteed. We have a lot of people who are big. We have a privilege. At you could do away any mutoto. Now, when you are mutoto, Anna Urizaga, Itisha, Nana Pewa, Jana Mutoto Wangu, Alin Itisha, uh, yogurt, to go to Natoka Pahari function in a family. Now, to go to my Pitia Deca Highway, you know, it a main. I had to divert and use the in a toji service rain so that I go and buy the yogurt. Vire, vire, I come to say to you, let the that faith arise. Activate your faith. And of course we activate our faith when we do something. You don't just sit here idle. You say, oh, by faith, by faith. We know faith without works is dead. Okay, let's keep on moving. Um, I want to summarize and finish. Uh, so, I'm just saying some of the importance of faith. I'll just read them and then I'll be done. So number one, importance of faith as we see in Exodus 11, 24 to 27. Number one, faith will enable you to break away from the world system. Hallelujah. You are able to break away from the world system. You are able to say no to social media. You are able to say no to destruction. And you are able to give yourself fully to Jesus. Point number two. It will give you your true identity. It is faith. That caused Moses to understand he is a Hebrew. Not an Egyptian. He was able to understand his true identity. As a Christian. We need to understand our full Identity. We have our rights, we have our privilege, and we have our responsibility in the kingdom of God. Usichukue two rights. Usichukue two privilege. Shukua mpaka respo. Possibilities. Shida sometimes ina kuanga wewe tu unataka rights zangu. Unakuwa human right. Katika ufalme wa mungu. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. In the kingdom of God. Bwana sivue. There are rights, there are privileges, and there are responsibility. One of the responsibilities we have is to bring our sacrifice to our God to, you know, to, to purchase the land, for example. Yes, is to pray. Unajua maobi ni kazi, na maobi na pingwa sana kuliko vile unapofikiria. Hallelujah. Shetani atakagi maobi. Mwana sivye. Ata kuwa kalibu na mushayi na yen mutu wa maobi. Lazima hame. Hiu inakuprufia. If the prince of darkness can vacate, the key thing is prayer. Hallelujah. Eh, hey, katu katika maombi. And Jesus says, according to your faith, let it be done. In his other ministry, Jesus taught faith. Hallelujah. So it bothers the heart of God. So anyway, true identity. Then number three, you are able to associate because of faith with the people of faith. Association is the key word. Musa, he chose to leave the Paris and go and associate with the Pharaoh Hebrew men. Pharaoh, Israelite. Na wewe, kwa sababu ya imani ile uko nayo, amua to associate with the church. Sasa atuko wakati wa Musa, tuko wakati wetu, mimi na wewe. Madiko yumeadikiwa mimi na wewe. So who will you associate with? How to head Jerusalem, start looking for a partner. You are going to associate with your fellowship. Are you there? You don't go for your fellowship. I come to speak to you this morning. You need to associate with the people of God, people of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. The other one as I come to, to cross. Uh, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, the other one is uh, he looked for eternal reward. He looked for eternal reward. Instead of focusing on temporal things, he focused on Christ or he considered Christ to be of great value. Praise the Lord. Don't focus so much on the material, as wonderful as that may be. Jesus says, you know, you follow me because I gave you bread. Stuzivuata yesu kwa sababu anatupatia mikate, apana, tikwa sababu ya balaka. Let's look for the blesser, and then the blessing will follow. Hallelujah. The blessing will, will follow. So I come to say to you, seek the kingdom of God first, and everything else shall be added unto 
you. So that's how it works. So anyway, time is not our side. Let's look for eternal reward, no, no temporal things. Uh, and then number the next point is uh, his spiritual eyes were open. Scripture says in verse 27, he was able to see the invisible. Just give us uh, Hebrew 11, uh, 20, 27. Put it there on the screen. I just want to read it one more time as we bring this to cross. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, by faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the land of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. If only you do in this life is to see with your five senses, you are so limited, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. You must see the invisible. Hallelujah. Ninasema tuone Jehovah. Hallelujah. Unapo pitia katika huo murima. Unapo amua. Kuna wipo tuikuwa tukibaga na Jacinta. Uh, tukiwa wadogo. Unajua we grew in the same family, in the same house. Ni meoko ka sita rudi nyuma. Eh, hata rudi. Hata hata rudi nyuma. Naeda, I think I, I can't remember how she was singing it. She was singing for us after the service. Yes, but the point is, ilikuwa inasema ni meokoka, sita rudi nyuma, naeda, kanani. Bwana siviwe. So, kutakuwa natu suffering kidogo. Hallelujah. Mushukaji atatuita to fast, 16 to 21st, is it of October of November? What did I see in the announcement? Atatuita. Na unajuu kifunga, uneza umu wanakishwa. It's part of the kasafaring utasafa. Bona siviwe. Rakini ushidi. Wapedwa ni mukubwa. Hallelujah. Unapo ederea hivo. You know one of the discipline we should learn. Ni kufunga na kuoba. Bona siviwe. Ushidi ni muku. Ni mukubwa. Rasma uone. Mabo yare mungu ametua hidia. And you capture them to the glory of God. So let's see the invisible. Hallelujah. And you know it will work when we mix. <laughs> When you mix the word of God with faith. Hallelujah. Ah, the writer of the book of Hebrew in Hebrew 4, he said that um, the same gospel was preached to a certain group of people. It never profited them. The same gospel. And you know the gospel is the power of God. It's the power of resurrection. It never profited them. Why? They never mixed the word of God with faith. I come to share with you. Mix the word of God with your title deed. With your confirmation. With your evidence that that which you are asking God is already provided. Buona sifiwe sana. Amen. So may God bless you this morning. Uh, yeah, I think we can be upstanding. I'm exact. Huh? Okay, that's good. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, so all protocols observed. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, all protocols observed. Um, I think I will ask uh, our pastor, our senior pastor, uh, Mike, to come and pray for us. I think, I think you can exercise that word. That word can profit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.